Welcome back to the Just Grilling Outdoor Living channel. I'm Sam. Today's video, it's all about the brand new Weber Summit Gas Grill. This redesign has been long overdue. The Summit Grill line has been rock solid for many years here at Just Grill and Outdoor Living. Sales for the Summits though took a steep nose dive in 2022 when the price point of the previous model kept going up while nothing was changing on the grill. Well for 2024, the price has once again significantly gone up, but we do have a lot of new changes to the grill. So the question now becomes, is the Summit worth the high price tag that comes with it. That's what we're gonna look at in this video. We're gonna explain all the features and how the Summit stacks up to other popular grills. I wanna cover a few important things and set expectations for the video before diving in. If you're not familiar with us here at Just Grilling Outdoor Living, we're a small family-owned business in Tampa, Florida. We're one of the best outdoor living stores in the entire country. Those aren't my words, that's what we're told by our clients that are local and nationwide all the time. If you're interested in a Weber Summit or another high performance gas grill, we are the people to come see. Let us help you and you'll see why we are some of the best in the business when it comes to this. Supporting us is crucial to having helpful videos like this. Grilling and outdoor living is what we do and know best. If you aren't local to us, and this video helps you one way or the other, please support us by purchasing a super thanks for a few dollars. We help you make informed decisions so you spend your money wisely. Please show your gratitude for this and support us by purchasing a super thanks. You can also support us by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a nice comment on the video in the comments below. Those three things are free to do and are very much appreciated. This video is gonna be all about discussing the new features of the Summit line and how the grill compares to others around similar price points. Not doing any cooking in this video with the new Summit grill. Sometimes it can be relevant to the video, but for this particular one, I don't think it's as relevant. I normally don't touch on pricing in videos, but I actually am gonna spend some time talking about that in this video. I'm gonna sprinkle in my thoughts throughout and as well again at the end where I'm also gonna summarize my entire thoughts as a whole on the topic. That way you should have a good idea if you wanna come see us in store to learn more about the Summit or maybe another high performance gas grill. If I don't cover something that you have a question on, leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer it. Let's get started. When our Weber rep said we're getting a totally redesigned summit for 2024, my reaction was kind of mixed. As one of Weber's best summit retailers in years past, I thought to myself, this is gonna be great. But when our rep said the summits were gonna start around the $4,000 price point, I thought to myself, there's no way we're gonna have that much interest in these grills at those price points. Our rep told me, wait until I see it in person to judge it, and that I would find it impressive. And our rep wasn't wrong. This is something you wanna see in person to actually judge it. Seeing this grill in person makes me feel much more comfortable and better about the price point of it. Rather than a four burner and six burner model like in previous years, Weber fused and condensed the Summit line to one option, a five burner model. Weber offers the Summit in a few different configurations and two color options. There's the cart model, which is available in black enamel or stainless steel. There's the outdoor kitchen center option, also available in enamel or stainless. There is the built-in option that's only available in stainless. And lastly, there's the smart Summit available in enamel and stainless. All of the models in the lineup are available in liquid propane or natural gas. Let's get to know the features of the new Summit 
and where Weber has improved these new models from the previous model design. Starting with the outside appearance, this grill is beefier and bigger than the previous Summit models. It has a very clean look to it. I like what Weber did with the design. It doesn't feel clunky for the size of the grill. The hood is much taller and has a similar design style to the revamped Genesis line hoods, which I have said in previous videos that I like. This grill is going to look good on the back patio. Now, does appearance matter in a grill? Depends on who you ask, but I say it does. If you have a wife or significant other who likes to dictate your home aesthetic, in my case I do, just based on the look, the Summit does get my wife's stamp of approval for the back patio. The main burner knobs are fully backlit with the ability to turn that feature on and off with a simple push button. The right side shelf is an oversized shelf with good space. This is also where the rotisserie motor for the Cardin Outdoor Kitchen Center models tucks away into the shelf so it doesn't impede the ability to use the entire shelf if you aren't using the rotisserie. Previous models did have this feature, but it is nice to see it continue on the new models because it's a great feature. Both side shelves have accessory rails with smaller hook attachments that you can use to hang tools, brushes, towels, whatever else you like to keep handy by the grill. The ability to move them around versus the stationary hanging hooks is a new feature improvement. The left side shelf on the cart and outdoor kitchen centers has the side burner built into it. The side burner is 12,000 BTUs, which is the same strength as previous year models. The side burner stays hidden and flat so you can use the side shelf when it's not in use. The front doors of the cabinet below each have an additional accessory rail for more tool storage. Off the right side of the cabinet, under the right side shelf, are hooks to place your cooking grate when the Weber crafted system is being used. There are two front swivel casters and two rear swivel casters. These wheels appear to be similar in style to what was on the premium smoke fire pellet grill models a few years back and those wheels rolled very well and I was a fan of them. On the back of the grill are hooks to put the rotisserie rod when not in use. Now let's jump inside the grill. We're going to work our way from the top down under the hood to inside the cabinet last. Right off the bat, arguably the best feature upgrade on the Summit is the top-down infrared broiler burner. Positioning the infrared burner this way allows you to use the top rack for searing foods. Typically, an infrared sear burner on a gas grill will require giving up a portion of your main cooking area for that specific burner. Positioning it this way allows you to keep all of your main cooking space and still get the benefit of an infrared burner. You can also position the rack at three different levels based on what you're cooking for a more customized results when using the infrared burner. This setup is similar to what the Heston grill line offers. They are the only other brand that does the top-down infrared burner and adjustable top rack positioning. The top rack is also a very generous depth and size on the Weber. Rather than how Weber uses an additional regular burner as a sear zone on the Genesis line, this infrared burner produces a more intense and concentrated heat output for better results and caramelization of foods than you would get on the Genesis line. The infrared burner is 16,000 BTUs, which is stronger than the regular main burners. The next feature isn't new to the Summit grills, but it's actually often overlooked. The raised back wall of the Summit helps hold heat in the grill better. This is a performance feature that separates the Summit from the Genesis line. If you notice, the Genesis line doesn't have as pronounced of a back wall to keep as much of the heat in the grill. With the Summit, your heat output is gonna be more effective, and this will also help save on gas since the grill won't have to work as hard to hold in heat to maintain temperature. I mentioned the tuck away rotisserie system earlier. The grill also comes with the motor for the rotisserie, the rotisserie rod, and two sets of forks. The forks are double pronged versus three pronged, so that way they lay a little bit more flat when in storage. 
you can also hang them inside the tool cabinet. On previous Summit models, the smoker box was built into the cook space with its own specialty burner for lighting. Rather than making you give up cooking space, Weber includes a portable smoker box that you can move around the grill as needed if you're using this. The smoker box is very large compared to most aftermarket boxes that you can buy. The main cooking grates are nine millimeter stainless steel. These are thick cooking grates and we're a big fan of these specific grates here at Just Grill and Outdoor Living. I talk about these grates for the Genesis models for the few ones that do come with them as being a great value. The Summit also comes with the Weber Crafted Frame Kit. This frame kit allows you to use a suite of accessories such as a flat top griddle, roasting basket, sear grate, baking stone, and more with the grill. You only need this rack in the grill when you're using that system. Underneath the grates are the stainless steel flavorizer bars. This is Weber's trademarked and patented heat dispersion system. They're also there to protect your burners from grease and food from dropping below and clogging them. The five main lower burners produce a combined 65,000 BTUs when all turned to high. Weber has added this crossbar burner across the back that makes it easy to light the other burners if one happens to get blown out by the wind. It's also gonna help relight that burner automatically. All of the grease and drippings are gonna funnel below into this pull out grease management tray. You can use the included grill scraper to push everything into this removable foil pan for easy cleaning. Underneath the grease management system is the grill cabinet. The left side is for the propane tank on liquid propane models. You can hang the tank on the tank scale and this will read on the button that is on the front control panel. The right side of the cabinet is open to store whatever you might want to. The doors to the cabinet are soft closed. The hinges help hold the doors in place. There's no magnets. Typically magnets lose their polarity over time so you won't need to worry about this. The natural gas models have a little more storage room underneath in the cabinet since you don't have to worry about fitting a propane tank inside the cabinet. That's everything on the Summit cart models. For the built-in models, all of the features are the same, minus no side shelves, no side burner. The rotisserie is still included, but it doesn't have a tuck away feature. The outdoor kitchen centers will feature two extra storage cabinets under each side shelf. Both cabinets will have one interior shelf. All of the other features are the same as the cart model. As for the smart grills, this is something truly unique to gas grilling. Pellet grills have risen in popularity for their ability to load with fuel, push a few buttons, and then control from your mobile device. Well, Weber's bringing that same concept to gas grilling. Using the digital screen pad, you can start the grill and control it from your phone after being physically in front of the grill and starting it. There's an ambient probe inside the grill that's gonna help you know what the great temperature is. And from there, you can use the app to fine tune the temperature inside the grill. Using the Smart Grill with the Weber Connect app takes the guesswork out of grilling. You can use food probes and follow step-by-step -step recipes for good results. The Smart Grills will have all of the features of the cart grills and will come with an extra side storage cabinet under the right side shelf. One important feature you're not gonna see on the grills but comes with the Summit is you have a dedicated customer support hotline. This support line is separate from Weber's main customer support and only for new Summit clients or potential Summit clients. With this line, you can call in for pre-purchase support, technical support, or cooking help. It's US-based support in Chicago at their headquarters. You can call in and speak with a live representative. There's no emailing back and forth. The warranty on the Summit line for 2024 is impressive too. You can see the exact specifics on your screen. 15 years on the cook box and 10 years on the burners and grates is really good. Let's take a look at the pricing for the different models in the Summit line. Your introductory pricing is gonna be for the cart models. 
The cart models are gonna cost either $3,900 or $4,000, depending on which color you choose. The built-in stainless steel model is $4,400, and the outdoor kitchen center models are $4,900 and $5,000. The smart models are the most expensive at $5,200 and $5,300. The Summit Cook Surface is the equivalent of a 36-inch grill. When you compare this to other grills, you ideally should be comparing it to grills roughly of that same size. In this video, I'm gonna compare it to two popular grills, one of equal size and one a little bit smaller. The two grills I'm comparing it to are the Blaze LTE Plus 32 inch four burner gas grill and Artisan American Eagle 36 inch gas grill. Blaze does not make a 36 inch grill, so I'm downsizing rather than upsizing. The Blaze is manufactured overseas in China. The Artisan is made in the US and California. The Weber Summit is made in Chicago, Illinois, here in the US. Let's start with price points. The Blaze 32 inch grill in a cart is gonna start at $3,100 roughly. The Summit in stainless is $4,000 and the Artisan American Eagle 36 inch grill is $4,055. The Blades model has a total of 715 square inches of cook space. This breaks down to a cost of $4.34 per square inch. The Weber Summit has a total of 1,053 square inches of cook space. This breaks down to a total of $3.80 per square inch of cook space. The Artisan American Eagle has a total of 817 square inches of cook space for a cost of $4.97 per square inch. So if you were to base this solely on cook space only, the Summit has the most value per square inch. But there are differences in the grills since the features don't match up eye to eye. Let's start with the build quality. This isn't something you can gauge without being in person to see it for yourself. Both the Blaze and the Artisan use more stainless steel on their grills and carts than the Weber Summit. The Artisan is full 304 stainless steel all the way throughout and the Blaze is 304 on the outside and 430 stainless steel on the inside cook box. If you're choosing for build quality strictly, the Artisan is the best built grill in the bunch that we're comparing. It's well made and sturdy. I would say the Blaze is next due to the amount of stainless on the grill. This isn't to say the Summit isn't well built, this is just how I would rank it based on those three. So how do the features on these other two stack up to the Summit? Well, neither the Artisan or Blaze will come with a side burner. Artisan allows you to purchase one and add a side shelf kit to mount to the cart, though you are gonna give up one of your side shelves for this. Blaze does not offer a cart mounted side burner. The Blaze Grill has a 10,000 BTU rear wall infrared rotisserie burner, but the grill does not come with the rotisserie rod, forks, or the motor. The Artisan is not gonna have an infrared rotisserie burner on this particular model, though you can buy a rotisserie motor and rod to use with the grill. The rotisserie does not tuck away or hide on either the Artisan or the Blaze. The Summit infrared burner is 16,000 BTUs of heat power. The infrared sear burner does not come standard on the Artisan or Blaze. Both grills do manufacture one and it can be purchased separately. However, you are gonna have to give up one of your lower main burners to install it. The Summit infrared burner again is mounted to the roof of the grill for dual purpose use and it saves your main cooking area. The Artisan features the strongest main burners with up to nearly 19,000 BTUs per burner. The Blaze burners are 14,000 BTUs each and the Summit burners are 13,000 BTUs each. The Artisan Grill has three burners in the grill for a total of up to 57,000 BTUs. The Blaze comes with four burners for a total BTU output up to 56,000 and the Summit has a total of five burners up to 65,000 BTUs of heat. Between all three models, the grates are similar in thickness and quality. 
The Artisan has no interior grill lighting or lighted knobs. The Blaze has two interior lights and illuminated knobs. The Summit has the top-down night vision stadium hood lights and the backlit control knobs. The top rack does not feature adjustable tiers on either the Artisan or Blaze, while the Summit can be used between three different level positions. The side shells fold down on the Artisan, but are fixed on the Blaze and Summit carts. The doors on the Artisan and Blaze are held in place by magnets. The Summit uses soft close hinges without magnets. The Summit includes the smoker box, while the Artisan and Blaze do not include this feature. Blaze sells this accessory separately if you do want it. Artisan does not. While the Summit is the only grill with a removable foil pan for grease, the main grease drip trays are similar across all three models. The drip trays pull out and can be cleaned out on the Artisan and Blaze. It's just not as convenient as Weber tries to make it with that extra removable foil pan below. Artisan uses briquette trays underneath the grates and above the burners for even heat distribution and preventing flare-ups. Blaze uses a metal flame tamer piece and the Summit uses the flavorizer bars. The ignition systems on the Blaze and Weber are similar, push and twist to ignite. The Artisan uses a spark ignition. All three grills feature a hood thermometer gauge. The Blaze and Artisan have spring-assisted hoods the Summit does not, though the lid's not very heavy. While the wheels are similar on all three, the Summit wheels around the easiest of the bunch. When it comes to warranties, Blaze advertises the limited lifetime warranty. This applies to parts only, no labor, but it's not gonna be honored due to neglect, surface rust, or discolorization, contrary to popular belief. It's the most generous warranty of the bunch. Artisan Weber warranties are a little more in line with each other. Artisan covers the burners for 15 years and most of the stainless parts for 10 years. Weber offers 15 years on the cook box and 10 years on the burners and grates. Now that we're well acclimated to the summit and some of its competitors, Let's answer the question we set out to answer at the beginning of the video. Is the new Summit worth the high price tag? In my professional opinion, it is. Now, my answer is only for the cart model and outdoor kitchen center models. While I like the idea of the Smart Grill, I need to use that particular model and test it out before advising on the Smart models. While the built-in grill is nice, I don't see the value in that one over other built-in stainless steel grills that we can help you with. So that's why I recommend the outdoor kitchen centers and the cart grills. So why do I feel the price is justified and reasonable for the cart and outdoor kitchen center models? The first reason is there aren't a lot of areas that I can really knock the grill quality. The overall build isn't as thick as the other two grills I compared it to, but the Summit is still a really good build. When you factor in all the features built into the Summit and start adding them onto other grills, the Summit isn't the cheapest option, but it's also not the most expensive option by far for a comparable grill. At these price points, usually grills are really only separated by a couple hundred dollars, so you're really somewhat choosing the brand that you want to buy into too. When you add on features to the Blaze to make it as close to the same features as the Summit grill, becomes close to $3,700. The Artisan American Eagle costs more to start with, so that price tag only rises when adding on the few features that you can. The warranty is rock solid, and I like the dedicated support hotline for the Summit. I think people see lifetime warranty and get caught up in that sometimes. Realistically, most people change out grills every 10 to 15 years when you buy a nicer grill, which that's in line with the Summit warranty. Now, is the new Summit for everybody? Absolutely not. This is for someone that wants a more substantial grill, but doesn't want a full-on custom outdoor kitchen. The Summit gives you the ability to cook a lot of different ways, especially with the crafted system. This grill fits well with someone that entertains and wants a grill that not only works well, but has a nice presentation to it. 
You're welcome to let me know in the comments below how you feel about the new Summit. I don't believe you can judge it until you see one in person. It is much more elevated in look and feel than the Genesis line from Weber 2. If you want to check one out in person, we have it here in our showroom. Just Grill and Outdoor Living is one of Weber's top retailers in the entire country. Come see us in store for more expert help. Remember to show your support for our small business by shopping with us when you can. If this video helps you, good or bad, please don't forget to show your gratitude for us by purchasing a super thanks for a few bucks. Don't forget to like and share the video. If I didn't answer a question you have, leave it in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you on that. Thanks so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you in store soon.